In less than two hours, the Atlas V rocket will once again try to launch Boeing's Starliner capsule into orbit as part of its first manned mission. Now, the two American astronauts are already suited up, and the trip, this trip rather, to the International Space Station has been plagued by delays. Some of them recent, others actually go back years. So CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood is at the Kennedy Space Center joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. So, I mean, I want to get excited, Bill, but I think I'm going to just temper things. I'm going to take it moment by moment. But can you talk to people about how significant this launch is, especially if it turns out to be successful today? Yeah, you know, it's a really big deal to NASA. If you remember, they hired SpaceX and Boeing back in 2014 to build cruise ships that could carry astronauts to and from the station after the shuttle was retired. Well, SpaceX got going in 2020. Uh, they've now launched 50 people into space in 13 flights. Boeing has yet to get off the ground. They're hoping to change that today. But the reason they need this spacecraft is they want to have two independently developed uh, ships so that if something happens to, say, a SpaceX Crew Dragon where they can't fly, the Starliner is available and vice versa. So they want these two redundant spacecraft to make sure that they can always get astronauts to and from the space station. So, you know, I was reading about the last um, attempt that was aborted and th that, that there was concern about a leak. And then I read that the leak is actually still there, but they determined that it's not that big of a deal and they can still go forward. And I wondered if a lot of these sort of stops and starts really has to do with Boeing um, really going the extra mile to make sure that safety is the top concern. Well, I think the delays are, are, are a direct result of that to make sure safety is number one. Uh, but there's no getting around the fact that Boeing has had a, an unusual number of problems, technical snags uh, in the development of the Starliner spacecraft that have really been a surprise to many. You know, Boeing has a decades-long uh, history of, of expertise in spaceflight, but they've really had problems with the Starliner. Now, the, the recent delays they've had were due to the rocket, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, these were more run-of-the-mill mechanical glitches that were fairly easily fixed. But the, the leak you mentioned is still there, you're right. And they've had a series of other problems over the past several years that have delayed this flight at least four years in, in terms of when SpaceX first started flying. And up to seven years if you think about when NASA originally thought that these, these spacecraft would be in space. All right, so we're going to have you with us uh, for the morning, hopefully for the launch. Fingers crossed, um, because I think there's a lot more to talk about. This is well over budget, as you say, well delayed. I'm wondering about the impact that that has on NASA, because this is supposed to be sort of a joint venture. We got a lot to talk about, Bill. So I'll be, you'll be dipping in a little bit later.